Thank you. Thank you for catering to my ridiculousness. You look really unimpressed. Oh my God, Skoda Yeti. That's what you need here, four wheel drive Yeti. Traditionally, sports cars like this 911 in wintry conditions are natural enemies. If you try taking a car like this to a ski resort and it's massive rear 295, 30, 21 tires, it's gonna be a lesson in crashing or at least you'll be a very good drifter by the end of it. Luckily, you can mitigate this risk by fitting winter tyres, but often winter tyres take away dry and wet performance, which is exactly what you want from a sports car like this. Is there an answer? Well, modern ultra-high performance winter tyres designed for cars like this offer to blend both dry and wet handling and grip with snow and ice performance, so you can use your car in winter, and if you get caught in the snow, it's not gonna be a disaster, but you don't lose too much of that driving enjoyment for the majority of the dry and wet performance. To find out exactly how successful this is, Michelin have kindly lent me their 992 911 and fitted it with a set of Michelin Pilot Alpine 5s. This is a tyre that has a lot of technology in to try and blend that dry and wet performance with winter performance in snow and ice. But to what degree has it been successful? Well, I'm going to take this car from the blustery wet UK conditions across the top of France where hopefully we'll find some more dry and wet running onto the Swiss part of the Alps to a ski resort and see exactly how far we can push this tyre, hopefully on some really snowy inclines and things like that should be a really interesting road trip. The Michelin Pilot Alpine 5 has a reinforced carcass, an optimized tread pattern with self-blocking three-dimensional sipes and a symmetric layout, all designed to help retain a sporty feel on high-performance cars. Most importantly, it has the most effective rim protectors I've ever seen on the tire. Just don't ask me how I know they work. So you now join me in a cute little Swiss town called Grindelwald, which is a ski resort. Um, we arrived here late last night after about a 13 hour drive from London in the pitch black and the Airbnb is just outside of town. This meant we didn't actually see where we were staying. And I came out this morning to check on the car and realized we're in the valley of the most beautiful mountains I've ever seen. So I've jumped in the car and I've come looking for ice and snow and wintry conditions that we're trying to prove this car can work in like a UK winter would be. Sadly, due to Swiss efficiency, the roads we can drive on, they're all clear. And the roads we're trying to get to, the ones high up in the ski resorts, they're all closed because they haven't been treated. So plan B is to head over to France tomorrow if we can't find any snow here. But in the meantime, I thought I'd tell you about the journey over. And the best way of describing the journey over is probably and this isn't negative, unremarkable. The tires were stable, they were comfortable, there was no noise. Uh, you've still got quite a nice steering feel through this 911, and it's a 992 and they've got very good steering anyway. But the front end's still super precise, which is what you want from a sports car like a 911. So as a everyday drivable winter tire, these are some of the best I've ever had, or well, this is the best combination of vehicle and winter tire I've ever driven on so far in all my testing career. So, Fair play to Porsche, fair play to Michelin, and it's not like you're gonna find yourself on track racing some hot hatches or anything silly like that with winter tires, are you? <sighs> I don't know how I've ended up here, but I'm at Kerbera Spring Course. Alex Kirsten from Car Throttle fame has just done a lap in a very hot, hot hatch, a Renault Megane's R36 Sport Pro Zoom, whatever they're called. I'm in a 911, although I'm on winter tires, if I can't beat a souped up French shopping car around this track, I feel like the Porsche guys online are gonna destroy me, perhaps more than they usually do. So this car's got a sport chrono pack. Luckily I can time myself and let's see how it goes. So three, two, one, go. Right. Bit of wheel spin, but it is a damp circuit. Second gear traction is quite strong. So where winter tires struggle a lot is braking and turning. And oh, they're not as good as summer tires, but they're pretty damn good. 911s are just great cars, aren't they? See, you can get the, oh, the nose is really good. Like rear traction from the 295s is good. But oh god, it's it's uh <laughs> I'm losing the ability to talk. I mean, you can drift it, but that drifting isn't quick. Have I just ruined the time for me? Oh, come on, 37, 38, 39 seconds. But the point of this, so siped tires are better for snow and the more sipes you put in, the more edges you have and the more blueprint you have. And that's good for snow performance. But what that does detract from is stability, especially in braking and turning. And although you can tell on this car, 
it's still wearing winter tires. It's not as sharp as it is on a summer tire. It's very, very good, very good. I don't think anyone is ever gonna repeat this in the world, but I mean, we've just proven you can use these on track and have a bit of fun and beat the French. Hey! So anyway, back to the main film. Well, uh, <laughs> the good news is I've finally found some snow. Um, I asked at the tourist board where the highest road I could drive was, and she said, the road's fine up until a hotel, which is about a mile back that way. But then after that, you shouldn't really drive because uh, it's only for residents. But we have found some very snow covered roads and the tires are performing admirably, probably better than I am because I'm a little bit scared because this isn't my car and the last thing I want to do is send it down there. But this is quite compacted snow, like it's quite old snow. So it's frozen and thawed and frozen and thawed. It's not deep, nice powder that European winter tires normally like. It's, this is the stuff the Nordic tires are sort of designed for, but, oh God, the view up here is incredible. Oh my God. But yeah, the tires are doing incredibly well. Um, now I just need to work out where I can turn around and come back down the hill because these are um, very tight switchbacks and a uh, little bit terrifying if I'm perfectly honest. But the winter tires on what is a rear wheel drive 295 30 21 section rear tire um, look, accelerate a little bit of slip but building up speed, which pff, this is this is really good. This is like the cross climate video, but in a much better car. I've upgraded. So thank you again to Michelin for, oh my God, this is beautiful. Thank you again to Michelin for lending me the car and uh, supporting this idea of taking such a valuable and impractical car to such a beautiful part of the country. And thank you to Switzerland for providing these views because uh, these are just incredible. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel so well for the last year uh the support's been invaluable we're grounding out the bottom of the car now and uh as always safe motoring and let's hope 2020 has lots more interesting tire tests because there is some really cool stuff we've got planned can't talk about it yet but um fingers crossed it all comes off because i think everyone would be very happy thanks again Coming down, braking, decline, snowy ice. <laughs> I'm so impressed with these tires. We've done a track day. We've driven them over a thousand kilometers in a day, of motorways, windy roads, in the wet, in the dry. They've just been flawless. And now we're on a, in a ski resort, on a ski slope essentially, on untreated, icy melty slushy snow going downhill from what was the the difficult climb but it wasn't difficult this was meant to be the, like the crescendo to the video and just it, I, <laughs> the guy who i have with me who is doing a bit of driving with me hasn't driven in these conditions before especially in something like a car like this so he's driving while i'm doing some of the drone shots and he just, I told him to drive up here and he's like, no, it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. Like, just trust me, it will. Came back down, he said, oh my God, that was so easy. Like, that, the, the tires were incredible, everything's incredible. I'm like, I absolutely know, and this is ridiculous. Switch back after switch back in the snow and ice. Oh, I'm relieved.